Hello everyone, my name is Andrew from EcomExperts.io. Welcome to another Shopify app review. Uh, first of all, thank you all for engaging in our previous app reviews. Definitely Smile.io is our most popular app review uh, so far. We really enjoyed all the, the engagement and the little emails with questions, so keep those coming. Today we're going to review another uh, Shopify Metafield app for your Shopify store. Uh, we have an entire section talking about Metafields uh, that you can check out as well, but this one is going to be specifically on Metafields Masters by Hulk app. So the app itself has fantastic reviews, uh, the Shopify app stores. It promises a lot of things. There is a free plan available. Um, and then there is a pro version available for $4.99 a month. So let's look at behind the scenes and how all of this looks and see you on the other side. Cheers, guys. After you install the app and integrate it with your Shopify or Shopify Plus account, the app will automatically take you to its main dashboard. The dashboard looks pretty simple. Uh, and from here, you can choose the available resources such as shop, product, order, customer, collection, page, and blog. Uh, let's click on page to see how it works. It has a search button, guys, so no need to scroll through thousands of pages. So that's a really nice touch. Um, let's choose the page we want to edit. In our case, it's the Metafields app. Here we see some of the meta fields we already made using meta fields manager. So we're actually want to create a new meta field for, uh, I don't know, washing instructions. So let's go ahead and click on the blue button that says create a new. A new window appeared from the meta field creation. We need to enter the meta field namespace key description and type. Namespace is used to group different meta fields together in a logical way. If you don't have a lot of meta fields, you can just use global. We're going to write instructions for this at a later point. Uh, a key contains the name or the label of the specific meta field. A good way to think about it is to understand it as an identifier or basically a nickname. We will go with what was the wash actually as the first key. The description is not mandatory, but it can be useful if you want to describe your meta field in detail. We will skip this for the sake of time. Now we need to choose the type of the meta field we want to add. If you are using a free plan, you can choose only between integer and string, which is the biggest downside of the app. We will work with what we have right now and we will choose a string. Next we have a value. We will go with wash cold and then just save it. One thing that's important to know is though um, the caps lock, it's very important whether or not you're writing in all caps or no caps um, for your values. Okay, we are back to the previous page. Let's see what we have created. From here you can copy the code, edit the meta field, delete and preview it. We will grab that code and enter it to our page code. It would be ideal if we could optimize this, um, but after you copy the shortcut to the page, it looks like this. Now, that's not bad, is it? Let's go back to the app and see what else we can do with it. Import and export are not available on the free plan. All right. On the free plan, you can add integer and string only. I must say this app is very useful if you're ready to pay for it. If you choose, you can add HTML, date, email, phone, URL, color fields, image upload, file upload, and bulk import, or even export date. I need to mention the things we didn't like though, and the free plan can do a whole lot. If you want to do a little more customization, you will need to pay for it or switch to another app. Also. What we did notice is that the app did crash a couple of times, like I think four out of 10 times. So that is not ideal. That is it for Metafield Masters, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Do you agree with us? Do you not agree with us? Has it given you extra information before you uh, install the app? What would you like to change about this app? Share everything in the comments. Also, if you need any help with your development work with your Shopify store, um, you know where to find us on ecomexperts.io. And if you have any questions relating uh, Shopify, feel free to just uh, send us a little email or make a comment below in the video. 
video and we were more than glad to help you out so thanks a lot for that guys and see you in the next video cheers